So I'm here with Marco Antonio De Martino. Welcome to the Vancouver market. We're really glad to have you from Mayaco, Chile. We have the wines here. Uh, Marco, once again, thanks again for coming into the market. We have uh, an absolutely fantastic lineup here. I just want to get a sense of your, your winery, uh, your location, tradition, your history, uh, so we can let our, our viewers know. Of course. Well, we are a family-owned winery, a part of fourth generation making wines now in Chile. We're based in the micro region in Chile, which is kind of the, Napa, the Chilean Napa in a way, the more traditional uh, winemaking region in Chile. Uh, but we have been there all over, all over Chile in different regions, and what we do is try to, to show the Chilean's diversity and potential. Absolutely. And one of your competitive advantages is your organic movement. Yeah. Um, can you speak a little bit more to detail about that? I think that's something that everybody should know. Uh, organic for us is very, very important. And uh, we were one of the first wineries back in 1997 to embrace organic practices. So for us, it's been a long time now working with organics. We've seen improvements in the vineyard. We've seen the life back in the vineyard. So we're very happy to come no pesticides, no chemicals in the vineyards anymore. And in terms of biodiversity, we increase the life in, in all of our vineyards. And we've seen that besides taking care for, of the environment, we've seen an, an increase in quality in the wines, which is very important. So both things go hand by hand. And I think organic is definitely the way to go. Uh, our wines are all I mentioned before, we don't use any chemicals, no pesticides, no culture teas, no enzymes in the winery whatsoever. And we're vegan friendly, we don't use any eggs or isin glass or anything coming from animals as well. So we are very have a very natural approach in our winemaking, only trying to highlight the fruit and the different terroirs of our vineyards. Fantastic, fantastic. And in this market in particular, I think, and, I, and we'll, we'll see later on today with, uh, with our clients, that there's a really big push, a big movement to have quality wine in the market, organically certified. Um, it's, it's, it seems like a great trend. Um, you did mention a little bit about the uh, non-animal aspect. Can yeah. you speak to the vegan uh, aspect? Yeah, yeah. And all of our wines are, as I mentioned before, vegan friendly in the way that we don't use any animals in the production of our wines or any, any animal ingredients in, in clarification, like eggs or and glass, which uh, some other wineries do, which is very common in the industry. We don't use any of those things, so our wines are perfectly okay with with the vegan. Absolutely, and we can see on the back as well a nice little green seal here. Yeah. Can you give us just a quick snapshot of what that's uh, all about? Yeah, we are actually the first winery in South America to become uh, carbon neutral certified. We audit all our carbon emissions back in 19. 2009. Then, uh, after uh, evaluating all of our emissions, we took uh, some measures in our processes in order to decrease our carbon footprint, which is it's very important to be organic in, in terms of the of, of the size of your carbon footprint. Since you're not using any chemicals or any other things coming from outside, your your, your carbon footprint is far uh, is much smaller than in a traditional winery way or traditional farming. Uh, after we audit the emissions, we have a clear picture of our carbon footprint. We took measures to reduce it, and uh, the emissions we couldn't reduce, we we generate ourselves some carbon credits for being organic, and uh, we have a carbon neutral product. 